And good evening. Thanks for being with us. I'm Eric Franke, a Verona man behind bars tonight facing felony charges for alleged child trafficking. 39-year-old Paul Kettering could spend up to 40 years in prison on charges he tried to pay $50 for sex with an 8-year-old girl. The night team's Maria Guerrero looking more closely at Kettering's case, and she has tonight's top story, Maria. That's right, Eric. I've spoken with friends and neighbors of Paul Kettering today. I'm told he has a new father, and he kept to himself in his one-bedroom apartment in Verona. He does have minor offenses on his record, but nothing that would have required him to register as a sex offender. But police believe there may be other incidents like this one out there. I only saw him once when he moved in, otherwise I've never talked to him, anything. For many residents at Hometown View Apartments, like this man who doesn't want to be identified, the allegations against their neighbor, Paul Kettering, are as shocking as they are sickening. I know there's a few kids in my building, and I don't know about the other building, but it's just... Word. Court documents claim that on July 20th, Kettering approached a woman outside a Madison bar with a proposition. But he told her that he would pay her $50 if she was able to procure for him an 8-year-old girl so he could have sex with this girl. She got very creeped out about this entire conversation and she approached us. With the help of the woman, police heard Kettering negotiate a deal. Officers then arrested the 39-year-old. A search warrant served at his apartment turned up binoculars next to his kitchen sink, a refrigerator magnet reading unregistered sex offender, and 270,000 still images and 3,000 videos on his computer depicting child pornography. Whether or not these are things that he downloaded himself over the Internet or did he film some of these things himself, we don't know that yet, and that's why we're asking for anyone who might have information to please call Crime Stoppers. Police are now investigating whether Kettering used Craigslist and social media sites like Facebook to gain access to children. Police aren't just looking for anyone who may have been in contact with Kettering online, but perhaps in person, especially because we are being told that this bottom unit right here of this apartment complex, that is Kettering's apartment across from his home. You can see back here and a playground, and that right there is Glacier Edge Elementary School. If there are people at the school who believe this person is acting inappropriately around the school. We don't have that information at this time. And police say another woman contacted them saying that Kettrig asked her through Craigslist to post more pictures of her four-year-old daughter on her website because she was so pretty. He then allegedly asked this woman to babysit the girl when the woman said no because she didn't trust him and he made her nervous. He replied, quote, you are a smart woman. He will be back in court next week, Eric. And he's behind bars for now, right? Right now, exactly. And yes. not allowed to go near schools as the and court that, proceedings yeah. advance. All Absolutely. right, Maria Guerrero reporting. Maria, thank you. Okay. Well,